Does this even work? Oh, wait. There it is. You have to apply it before it takes. Okay. Default graphics, active monitor. Yeah, this all looks fine, except for this. Get rid of motion blur, for the love of God. Uh, FOV, 90 to begin with? Okay, okay. I like it. Goes up to 120. Let's make it 100. It usually feels pretty good to me. Okay, let's jump in. Version 1.0.0.0. Standard, story, emphasis on storyline, infinite parameters, death is still possible, achievements disabled, impossible, permanent death, no hints, free, no restrictions or deaths, everything is available. I mean, we're just going to go standard, right? Space Nautica. All right, let's jump in. The in-game encyclopedia can suggest the, use, the location of useful resources and their purpose, and may not suggest... Okay. Fancy opening credits at the beginning of the game. From the creators of The Matrix, there's been no news rate lately. Searching for this font took up half the development time. Director, is it needed here at all? Oh. The Red Rune Software's team is categorically against smoking, which causes loud headlines and papers and other diseases, and therefore we suggest you replace this dangerous cigarette in the robot's claw for something more useful. No, let him smoke. Here you are again. Did you have time to think of how to behave during the interrogation? Remind him, R2-D3. <laughs> okay. Well, we just got the you smack. That's all you know from the beginning. No lie. Confirm? Put on a defined expression and spit in the face of this piece of iron. Gross. You tell us all from the beginning, or violence. You tell us that you fly to the funeral, but the liner explode radicals of green universe. Confirm? Bit. <laughs> I'm guessing I have to tell him. You tell us all from the beginning, or violence. You tell us that you fly to the funeral, but the liner explode radicals of green universe. Confirm? There's probably, like, an achievement for, like, spitting in their face, like, 20 times or something stupid. We're not gonna bother. Let's just... Ooh, 2073. That's weirdly not that far off. I mean, it's still, like, a lifetime away. But it's less far off than it should be, in my mind. Spit. Wipe. Repeat. You for the bits. Oh, hey, look, it's the Anthem development team. Haha, <laughs> recent events. Oh, it's in chapters, Lost in Space. Okay. You lied to me. Logo was impossible. Could not see the shuttle from space. Tell truth, no lie. Confirm. 
All right, so a lot of fourth wall breaking narrative stuff going on here already. Okay. Continue your definitely unembellished story. Oh. Okay. <laughs> we got knocked in the head or something so hard that we went into a load screen. The game auto saves when you return to the shuttle. Don't return there while being dead. <laughs> okay. That's probably good advice then. Gross. Greetings. I'm your funerary spacesuit built in guide to the world of space funerals. Before we start Jump communicating further, confirm that you're still able to read after the impact. Splendid. You've gotten into a non-standard situation. The Breath Edge Global Funeral Agency is proud of its impeccable history. However, your death may cause the loss of its reputation. Therefore, we suggest that you stop the gas leak. And oh my god. Okay. This, uh, sensitivity? Holy shit. Okay. There we go, boys. <laughs> there we go. All right. When let's take this chewing gum. You can stuff them in your pockets, calling it an inventory, if you will. Plug. Plug. Uh, well, I was thinking of you. You'll need an object without any holes. I was thinking of using the gum. Speaking of which, take out where's... the chewing gum from your pocket. How? Try not to get your funeral Find it to slot. Except for your face. So that plug. Oh, you, you have to hold some it. Words of encouragement. That's impressive. You've almost won. Remember that the funerary spacesuit isn't designed for long-term use of persons or animals in outer space. It is recommended to immediately call for help on the interphone, improve the spacesuit, or become depressed. A cigarette butt. Well, that's definitely a cigarette butt called Breath Edge. Oh man, I remember doing this when like your cigarette rips or something and you put a little piece of tape around it. Ugh. I don't know what the hell we're going to use that for, but maybe something. It is automatically added to the memory processor in the kitchen where you can create this item using the necessary resources, probably. A back scratcher. Okay. Can I open it? I mean, we should take it, right? We should just kind of take everything, I think. I need a scanner. So... Alright. Processor. Can I do anything? Equipment. Uh, radiation protection, helmet. Resources. How do I break something down? So I'm guessing you can do that. There's recipes, journal. Okay, I think I might be getting ahead of myself here a little bit. Let's uh, find the interphone or get depressed is the next thing. So let's find the inter interphone because take it from me, depression is not fun. Use interphone. You'll have to go into outer space. Oh, that doesn't sound good. So, remember when I started Subnautica up and I told you guys how I'm afraid of, like, being stuck deep in the ocean? Yeah, same thing with space. I'm kind of deathly afraid of the idea of being out in space. So this should be fun. Drill blueprint. That is... That is definitely a blueprint. Green Universe Broccoli Attack. Wow, this is actually like a fully written page here. A page from the famous and only galactic newspaper, Piece of Truth. It's been published for a long time and is distinguished by honesty, openness, good absorbency, and softness of paper, which makes it an indispensable piece of trashy literature after a hearty dinner. What a loud headline, but the probability of the liner crashing due to a terrorist attack is 65%.
The chicken was passed on in our family from generation to generation. She loved Grandpa more than worms, I think. And Grandpa always returned the affection. <laughs> uh, alright. I have always been good looking, although my beard was not as thick in my childhood. By age of three, it got better. Aw, cute. Harry the cat was my first and last pet. He was a proud and good one. Even the chicken respected him, I guess. At least she attacked me more than him. Humans are the real monsters in space? True. That's facts. I mean, I guess we're gonna take the cigarettes. It seems like a real bad time to be a smoker in space. That just seems like you're asking to die, right? Like, legitimately, real bad. The waste disposal system is damaged and is operating in reverse mode. The toilet can suck objects flying past the shuttle when the tanks are full. Oh my god, is this is Probably space. This is the central core of the liner. Be careful, the radiation will kill you instantly in such a suit. Alright. So where do y'all think an antenna would be out here? Probably this, right? Probably this. That was a close call. Try to adjust the antenna very carefully. You've got great engineering skills. You have broken the antenna completely. Now you will need some special equipment and interphone activation codes, which are encrypted in the memory of the steering wheel, if it's still intact. In English. You think I went to school? I'm an astronaut, goddammit, not a doctor. The shock of such power can lead to the failure of my systems, and I can't guarantee the safety of your corpse before the arrival of the funeral team. What's this? Nutrition package. It's green thick and flows from the nose. Guess what it is? Nutritional liquid that somebody choked on. Oh, that's disgusting. Oxygen is not unlimited. Oh, okay. I see, I see, I see. Let's go back inside. Okay. A nifty package of nutritious goo. Put it to good use. Or throw it into the closest airlock or eat it. Okay. Establish communications. Yeah, easy, right? Let's just establish communications now. Okay. So, okay, because we picked up the nutritional package, we got the recipe for it? So you just need... Oh, n we picked up a piece of the recipe. So we have nutritious goo. Now we just need ice. I've been in enough planes to know that sometimes there's ice in the toilet. It doesn't look like it will let me... Okay. Well. Equipment. Resources. Tools. Here we go. Uh, there's a grabber, a drill. Uh, our eat and we have an eat and drink meter, which actually scares the crap out of me a little bit. Okay, I think I gotta just. Take some time to go out into the ether here. I need a scrapper so I can break some of this shit down. But, okay, so we know- Oh, that's ice! That's ice! Okay, okay, okay. That's a nice ball. Fuck, I need a scrapper. It's really quite pretty. And a little less scary to me than underwater. Maybe because underwater is like a thing that I feel could actually happen to me. I don't think I'm jettisoning off to space anytime soon. But like I have been in planes flying over the ocean. I've been in boats before. I could possibly sink to the bottom of the ocean. Okay.
So these look like they restore, what, 25 and then 30? Okay, let's wait until we need to eat and drink at about 70, and then we'll top off. I'm in no position right now to be all willy-nilly with my resources. Grandpa's mug. Grandpa loved to give young girls a ride in on his rock kit. This is why his colleagues gave them the mug. The title Chief Womanizer, unfairly because Grandpa only gave them rides and only on his rocket. But he still kept the... the okay. The handle is there. <laughs> the handle is there. <laughs> That's really good. I don't know why. I like that. Oh, a tape recorder. I, I need a scrapper. Okay. We got to find out what we need for a scrapper. What's up, Kendra? What do we need for a scrapper? Equipment. We don't have the... Well, shit. I don't have the... I don't have the know all... The know in how to make a scrapper yet, I guess. Okay. I mean, let's just keep grabbing shit, right? That's why we're here. Judging by the primary analysis of the destruction, most of the passengers of the liner died. This might be the biggest catastrophe in the history of astronautics, the reasons for which are yet to be clarified. Bring this corpse back. Maybe we can, like, harvest it or something. I don't know. If nothing else, it's nice to have a friend around, you know? Here, take a nap. Oh god, I've done it now. Okay. We're fine, we're fine. We're doing some Weekend at Bernie's shit here. But... Again, it'll be nice to have a, a companion. He's sleeping. Oh, I should watch the survival guide, maybe. This game loves its chickens. A humorous survival guide recorded by one of Grandpa's friends. They even cut some shots uh, out from some movie and put in here. I don't think such advice can be useful, but to be honest, the situation is strangely similar to mine. There's even a chicken there. There's even a chicken. I guess we could watch it, right? One of the last photos of Grandpa who didn't part with a chicken until he, his death. He really liked himself here and couldn't help putting his photo in a frame. Oh, where are my manners? We gotta clean up. We have company. An expensive, unfiltered, dark, tasteless, non-alcoholic. Something chosen by Grandpa solely because it's label. Sure. I mean, there's a chicken on it. Although he always denied it, wrinkled face, uh, and wrinkled his face while choking on this crap. While choking on his chicken? Hey, dog beer. Dog natural. The cheapest swill drunk by all space dogs. Nobody knows what this waste, nobody knows from what this waste, from what waste this stuff is brewed. Jesus Christ. Nevertheless, the beer is distinguished by a pleasant, mild taste of tar. Ew. The fragrance of fresh porcupine done. Great. A rare edition of physics in several volumes. They say one who reads all 50 books will become the person who read all these books. Yeah, that makes sense. Does your friend have a name? I don't know. Doesn't look like it. He's being a little shy right now. Okay. Okay, so I you can remove your spacesuit. I have to know. I have to know. 
Hello, darkness, my old friend. Wait, what? I thought I put my spacesuit away. Hold on a second. Does it just like auto fit you with it? I'm so confused. Yeah, I guess you can't take the easy way out. Sure. Okay. Garrett is now his name? Okay. I need a scrapper. So bad. Yeah, let's open this coffin up. No, I need a magnetic master key to open up coffins. Of course. The shuttle's plating is blue. These are the rescuers. Given that the evacuation shuttles have increased strength, the impact force must have been incredible. What are we at, 30? Okay, I should check that out down there then. Go get some air quickly. Wow, this music. Oh, hey, a calendar. A typical calendar with girls. Miss September. Grandpa loved and collected and carefully collected such things. I remember in my childhood, Miss December from Grandpa's collection got a fashionably painted mustache and my ass got some white strips from Grandpa's belt after this incident. Yikes. <laughs> So this is not a door I can do anything with. Wait, cards? My grandfather. I don't know when I painted it exactly, but I remember that my grandpa's colleagues were laughing their heads off and called it Alco Lenin. Why he had it above over his bed is a mystery. Happy birthday, grandpa. Man. I guess my character's name is Man. Uh, my notion of starships in childhood did differ much from my knowledge of them today. I drew this masterpiece at six or seven, and I'm still proud of it. Home. Grandpa couldn't live without space, but he loved home very much, just as any astronaut. Oh, we can rest. Fabric, a cool composite space rag. Universal material that's used everywhere. Good photo. It was taken two years before Grandpa's death. Jacket has outlived him and will probably outlive me as well. <laughs> God damn it. It wasn't worth blowing bubbles into the face of this immortal bird. The school wanted to sign me on as a sprinter after that race. That day, I flew. Memes. Memes. All photo albums at home are filled with pictures of the chicken, a portrait with a dark background, a for uh, portrait with a light background, a master shot in the rain, a photo of it sitting heroically on a chair. This family heirloom now belongs to me, and I can't even get rid of it by giving it to anybody. A picture with the autographs of Grandpa's best friends. It's from the times when their crazy gang went on, as they call it, a space odyssey, which lasted almost a year and put them on the blacklist of most bars on inhabited planets. They were really cool guys. All already gone. From Spain. Ah, Paisano. We sh I mean, I should probably, like, watch that tape or something, but I'd rather just go grab shit from space, you know? Hello, you can start the stream now I'm here. Okay, thank God. I was waiting to be able to officially start it. You like memes? Oh my God. Who would have thought that uh, floating around in space would be floaty? God. Ooh. Holy shit, okay.
A gamepad from the most popular console. We used to push, press these buttons for hours until our fingers hurt. An Extendo Slim. I need a. I need so many things. You know that feeling when you start off a new game, and like uh, one of these types of games, like a survival thing, and you just can't do anything because <laughs> you need to build like all your tools and shit. I need a scrapper. I think scrapper would be the first thing I want to build, if possible. Resources, composite. Got a drill. Alcohol. Um, oh, it's time to eat. So how do we do this? Find this to one and two, and then we just push them probably. Okay, nice and simple. Switch that off. That radio is driving me freaking crazy. Don't forget to feed the chicken. Whatever, Grandpa. Summer 2008. Where the hell is this supposed to be? Oh, looks like India. It says right here. Somehow I've never asked where this photo is from. Okay. <laughs> so the interphone's broken. 2U313B Akko GF home. All right, let's go ahead and insert the videotape. Why down, Garrett? The movie's starting. What up, dude? The interphone is broken to shit. Oh, God. Put it in your mouth. Now, move your teeth up and down. Up and down. Good. Numb nuts. Now you've got to swallow it. Tilt your head back and let the meat slide down your throat hole. Easy. Don't choke. Easy. Thank you for the bits. then well that was a very informative survival video that didn't help me in the least all right the let's report the presence of some nearby cooling gel its microscopic particles can settle in the glass of the spacesuit forming some beautiful frost work which can lead to visibility deterioration i understand that such an image can horrify you but put your mind at ease you will need to pay only half the cost of a damaged spacesuit in such a situation the breath edge agency is proud of its loyal attitude towards wow clients. this guy died in a very horrific fashion. Hey, a blood clot. Extremely useless, but if froze so beautifully, it's impossible to resist adding it to your trash collection. There are lots of great games about vampires, but it is hardly useful here. See, we need stuff to break these bigger things down, right? We need a handy scrapper. So... I think I might have to... Oh, wait. There's a thing there. Okay, we're going to check that out. <laughs> Good point, Edinsky. Good point. Let's get some health back here. Do a little dance. All right. This... T turn it off. Just... It's too much. <laughs> it's too jaunty. 
And what do we got here? It looks like the steering wheel. You need to try to connect to it. Great news! Using my ingenious two-digit password matching algorithm, I managed to hack the Interphone activation codes. Now all that's left is to build a cryptographic debugging station and reconfigure the Interphone using these codes, which will take about five years with your current skills. Cool. Only five years, huh? Alright, let's get some more oxygen and go back out. Remember that you are still able to become depressed. Oh, trust me. I know. I'm very aware. It's really quite pretty. It definitely has, like, kind of a Subnautica thing going for it, but it's very, very silly, uh, which is fine. And the fact... I'm less scared because I can see everywhere around me. Rescuer spacesuits are like funerary ones, but I always wanted to learn how their flashlights work as they don't require recharging. I propose we loop the corpse for scientific purposes. Okay, so we got the flashlight. And it seems like the game is actually kind of directing me quite a bit, which is nice as well because, man, if they didn't, <laughs> we would be looking around forever. Although I guess I would have eventually stumbled upon that guy, so... Okay, so what are we doing now? Go here. Processor. Tools. Cryptographic debugging station. So we, we might as well create that because I have the stuff. Okay. Most sophisticated professional equipment for distributing streaming information with cryptographic encryption over internal software networks. I mean, I should probably put the back scratcher on something, right? I don't know. You never know when you're going to need a back scratcher, I guess. We should build the more food and water. Oh, you have to wait for it to create. Okay. So there's no, like, queue system. Okay. I mean, that's fine. I just... Didn't know, you know? I didn't know! Make another one of these. Okay. What do we got in here? Nutrition package, water. Oh, and it tells you, um, you can craft it in your hands? As well? Like, wait. Is there, like, a crafting... There's a recipe. Oh, markers. Is there a way... So you can turn that off. I don't know why you would ever want to turn that off. I guess if you're playing, like, hardcore or something. I'm going to make this purple so I can... kind of distinguish it a little bit better. Actually, I kind of want it to be, like, a yellow or something. That's good. Items... Oh, this is collection stuff. Okay. Okay. There's some interesting stuff going on in here. It definitely seems more story forward than Subnautica. Subnautica had a story going for it that you didn't know about until it, like, you're in it, basically. Like, you crash land on the planet, right? And then you're kind of just trying to survive for a while... And then something, ha like, you come across a few things, and you're like, whatever. Something happens, and then it's kind of like, okay, now I have a purpose to, like, get off this place. This seems very much like you are a person in a situation that has a past and people that you associate with, and this is all very forward. It's just, a, they're doing it a little bit differently, which is fine. I respect it. Flashlight. Okay. Ideal tool for finding things in lost things in dark rooms. That is, if you don't lose the flashlight itself. Connected to the spacesuit. Doesn't require permanent replace a permanent replacement of batteries, though due to this, its continuous operation is limited. 
So it can't be found. It's required for lighting obtained via craft. There's shears here. Shears on a stick. So stupid yet so awesome. You gotta make this thing. Alcohol. Seems like it's going to be important for some other stuff. Okay. You're starting to miss the jaunty music? Oh, here, let's put on... Let's put on the radio. Okay. If you're sure that this is exactly what was on the blueprint, then try to reconfigure the receiver. If you have any doubts concerning it, then you will eventually suffer an electric shock, and then your spacesuit will automatically take your body measurements to order a coffin from our company. Thank you for choosing the Global Funeral Agency. Okay. What the fuck do you do with this thing? Debug the receiver. Was the receiver out here? Here? Like, was it what the steering wheel was, uh... Oh, that's why I can't open that door, because I'll fucking die. That makes sense. The receiver's what I have in my hands, no? Or do they mean here? Oh, the interphone. Oh, we did it. Easy. Attention all survivors. The rescue shuttle Hope has been sent to you from the nearest evacuation the point. arrival time exceeds your estimated lifespan by 4,369 years. You need to get to the extraction point yourself, getting past the radiation. However, it's impossible to do this with your current skills. To increase your level, you need to create some crap imposed by the developers. Sure. Makes sense. Create the crap imposed by the developers and put it in your hands. Alright, let's create the crap imposed by the developers then, I guess. Crap imposed by the developers. We need refined metal, wire, thick electrical tape. Okay. Refined metal, wire, and thick electrical tape. Let's go. You like this game? Oh, that is a pair of tits. Incredible, survived one. I see your avatar online. Judging, but it wasn't possible to determine the coordinates of the survivor. Communication only works on reception, which gives a good reason not to respond and not to be distracted. Bloodstained hammer. The of the hormonal system. Judging by the broken handle, somebody's body was beaten very hard and very painfully with it. I wonder which part of the body it was exactly. The, in blood. the victim is also stained in blood. Probably the hammer accidentally got stained by the It is unlikely that he suffocated from this, being in a spacesuit where oxygen is sufficient for an entire full breath. Well, we got shears. He betrayed our marriage, pervert, cheater, he deserved it. Two different sets of handwriting, some Sergei fellow, bloodstains, what could this all mean? The note is written by a woman who can professionally handle stationary items. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh god. I so now we're just going to start dying, right? Yeah, our health starts going down. Okay. Um, do you have anything on you that I can steal? Do you have like a better tank or, of oxygen or something? My name is Babe. I'm very beautiful. You save me? I beg. I am completely alone. 
Take off your helmet. You may hear me cry. Your interlocutor Hurry. has a very sweet accent, causing fatal errors in my grammatical functions. All right, I need more refined metals. There's another corpse here. Man, there's so many corpses everywhere. Wait, 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 what's this? Cracked wiring, okay. We need wiring, so that's good. A standard coffin at the Global Funeral Agency. The opening of the coffin will be considered an offense and an act of vandalism, but no one will judge you if you die. I feel like I need to go back for air. Oh my god, even in- so even in your menu, you're losing oxygen. <laughs> well, there's the jaunty music. The strangely shaped balloon has extra strength and elasticity. You can pump it up with oxygen. There won't be much of it, but it would be enough for one breath if it doesn't pop. Can you actually fill a condom in this game up with oxygen for one breath? That's gotta be a joke, right? Because if they actually program that in, that's like hilarious. Also, a handy scrapper? Oh, fuck yeah. How much- how do we make a handy scrapper? That's exactly what we need right now. I need metal times three? Oh no, this. Yeah, I still need metal times three. Okay, we gotta find metal. I see dangerous place on radar. There's many life-giving oxygen. You cannot fly there. If you suddenly smoke there, you can explode. It is better to suffocate than to burn. I mean, that's just spitting facts. I need more, like... Ooh, honey. Honey's good. See, the problem is all this stuff that could give us a lot of good shit, you need the scrapper for to break it open. Why would we grab a dog beer? Judging by the hair stuck in it, somebody used a head to crush it. <gasps> Mortal Wombat! Oh my god, this is such a dad joke. Like, literally, I remember my dad making this fucking joke when I was playing Mortal Kombat as a kid. <laughs> the legendary fighting game for the best console. Dream of all... The dream of all the guys on all the planets. Bloods, blood guts, half-naked chicks, and steel muscles of the wombat is all what a guy needs when he is 15. Fucking dad jokes, Be man. Careful. Games provoke cruelty because according to statistics, most criminals played them at least once. All criminals drink water, blinked, and used toilet paper, which makes it possible to draw an unequivocal conclusion about your criminal inclinations. Okay, so we found how to get wire. Now I need to find how to get metal. Because I think the only metal I've ever had... Oh shit, that's not my entrance. The only metal I've had in this was from um, an empty trash receptacle I think I picked up in here. But that must mean that there's other trash receptacles around, right? Theoretically? They're probably just like hanging out in space somewhere though. It'd be cool if I had a scanner, I think. Oh, freezing danger. Okay, well, let's not do that. Like, if I could scan to see where a th thing is... Oh, wait. That's probably metal, right? The handcuffs. And then whatever the hell that... That looks like something, too. Okay. Or is this just marking a, like story place because I don't see anything I can I don't have anything I can interact with here oh god okay we should make it it's actually not too far 
Are you still alive? I cannot name my coordinates. There's debris here and there's debris on to the left on the left. You have to help, I beg you. Quickly fly me through the radiation. Oh, I didn't fully Okay. Give me air. Let's go. Let's go. I want to see what this is, this marker here. I don't think I've been down this far. Dying handcuffed to a bed, metal as fuck. Yeah, man. The largest condom in the world, and also an emission of gas, most likely oxygen, are detected ahead. The service supply compartment, almost intact. They usually install oxygen stations here. You would be in luck if you managed to get inside. A damaged door scanner. You can scan the scanner with a scanner to record the scanner's damage data to the scanner scanner protection system for emergency depressurization of the compartment. You will need a scanner. I used the word scanner eight times. Okay. So we got another recipe. I need metal, dude. <laughs> I need metal so bad. Because I think as soon as we build the scrapper, I can just start breaking apart chunks of metal for more metal. You need metal for metal. Yeah. Okay, what does a scanner take? Also, sweet package. Fuck yeah. Metal. Battery. Plastic. Light bulb. That's rubber. Okay, I was wondering if I had like a container of some sort. Deck station. So, okay. That's what we need to create. This is composite crap that we don't have to worry about quite yet, I don't think. I need all these basic tools. The tools are the thing right now that I need the most. Forgive my accent. Humanity fly all over the galaxy but never make a good translator. Are you saving me? So, there's definitely something else going on down here, right? Wait, I just saw like a bullet. What the hell is that? Oh, that's a condom. Okay. I don't understand what these fucking there's markers no are. The condom being suitable for an oxygen reservoir, but you can try to construct a simple balloon for distracting yourself from fatal Oxygen thoughts. balloon. Okay, you can make an oxygen balloon out of condoms. Oxygen candle. What? Okay, just take things that we can use. Man. So, the one thing I'm gonna say right now that I like way more about Subnautica. Just the nature of like being underwater. All you had to do to like breathe again is go up out of the water for a moment, take more breath and then go back down. You didn't have to go back to your base all the fucking time. Okay, oxygen balloon. Condom, wire, plastic times two, and electrical tape. Okay. If we get lucky and actually find some metal, I think this game just busts open in a pretty big way. Because there's so many of these things around. But I need metal to make a scrapper so I can get more metal. Freezing danger is no good. What's up, Necro? We should not 
freeze, if possible. Maybe up there? I'm gonna check up there as soon as I get some oxygen here. Oh, maybe there's like metal around my ship actually too. I should check around my ship. Okay. On my monitor, the signals of rescues right at this point. No one answers probably. Okay. That babe that keeps messaging us with the cleavage picture, I'm sure is like a bad guy or something. We'll see. We'll see what happens with it. So I have a grabber, but I don't know what the hell the grabber does. Oh, that's a back scratcher. Never mind. That's not even a grabber. Well, it's kind of a grabber. But we can scratch our back with it. Watch it be like malware in a PC or something. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of what I'm thinking, right? Okay, is there anything going on in the washroom here that I can, like... I need a scanner. God! I need all the things, man. What's this? I can't open... I can't break the tape recorder, even. I wonder if there's like different stations around that I can. You have something? You have a flashlight. Freezing danger. There must be like pit stops along the way that I can get oxygen back in, right? Because this is crazy how fast I run out of oxygen is like really limiting how much I can do. I must have to search this broken down ship nearby more. It has to be something to do with this stuff around me. Space is scary, man. That's why when the question on TDP comes up, would you do an episode from space? It's like, fuck no, I won't. You guys can go to space. I'll be down here. Have fun with your episode and then possibly like being locked out in space forever or something. <laughs> like have fun. Fuck that shit. No, I gotta go back to it and finish it off. That's fabric? Okay. I definitely sh need to look around here more then. Bottles of water. I have big bust and slender legs. I wanted you to know and motivate to save me. Yeah, that's nice. We need metal. So I can make a scrapper. It's a speaker of some sort. Wait. Oh, I need shears for that. Okay. We found a place for rubber. We know where to get wire. I mean, we know where to get metal. I just need metal to be able to get the metal. Wait, is that metal? <gasps> oh my god, it's metal. It's just floating metal. Holy shit.
you'll go to space for me. Mark, if I ever get offered to go to space, you are the first person I'm calling to take that ride. Would you rather do one at an episode from space or the bottom of the ocean? Here's a thing. I'm done. I'm done. Uh, if those are my options, I'm done podcasting or doing anything forever. Fuck both of those options. Nope. Andy Scrapper. Where is it? There it is. That is a pretty full inventory. Wait, what? I dropped them. There's a lot of crap here to... Like, all of this stuff just seems like weird collectible shit, right? Let's get rid of all that crap. Okay, we have our scrapper. Which is, uh... Great news. Because now we're going to go scrap a bunch of shit. Oh, this is going to feel so good. Oh, no! Okay. So now we can make a bunch of shit. This is made specifically metal collection. Much, much easier. I want to break open one of these containers as well, though. Like this one here. Battery. Rubber. Metal. Okay. Okay, we're good in there. Going up via the bends is a shit way to die. Yeah. We break the scrapper. Oh crap, you're right. This stuff has durability. I didn't realize that there's durability for all this crap too. Okay. Okay. So we can make electrical tape now. What do I need to make again? It's under stations, right? I need refined metal, thick electrical tape. So let's create the thick electrical tape. And now I need refined metal. I should grab some shears here, too. I hope it's been worth it. Uchil, thank you for the resub, man. How are you? I appreciate it. Refined metal. Here it is. It's just metal times four. So I just need two of these, right? I think I'm going to need to go up for more metal, though. Yeah, I need to go up for more metal. Okay, we're almost... We can almost build the crap imposed by the developers, so that's good. We know that there's more metal just right outside here. Tired? Been a bit tired. I hear you. Break open this radio. Okay, plastic. 
battery. Grab some more wire here before we go back. What's this? It's another contain. Oh, this is a container I started breaking, but then it floated away. Okay. You need shears for- oh, that's a scan. I think I'm gonna go and grab some of this rubber. Did I build shears? I did. Okay. You never know when you're gonna need some rubber, you know? Oh god. Oh god, I wasn't paying attention. And I don't have any of the oxygen candles. Easy. Oh, I only had three metal! God! Ah, annoying. Okay. Handy scrapper. I can build a drill. It works on one battery. There... Hmm. I want a scanner. I don't know where the hell I'm gonna find a light bulb, though. No, we should build the crap imposed by the developers. I did hear, yeah. May 14th. A week after Resident Evil uh, 8. So I have a week for Resident Evil 8 and then my life is gone to an actual horror game. Below zero. Um, I should eat. We could build the drill. Enhanced spacesuit. Oxygen reserve plus 25 is what I want. I received a signal from Normandy. I think it's a trap. You mustn't fly there. Okay, we want the oxygen balloon. Um, have I got plastic yet at all? Honey. Rubber. Roll of fabric. I'm a little nervous. Okay, let's build the crap that the develop blah 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 developers, whatever. Let's build that. Let's get that out of the way. Uh if I can find a light bulb, that would be good too. Son of a bitch. Okay, well. Let's go make another scrapper, I guess. Let's go make another scrapper, I guess. Breath of the Wild all over again. What's this? Tape recorder. Battery, metal, wire. Okay, plastic. So we, I need to break open more of that stuff, sort of thing. Like radios and tape recorders. Oh, that one ship had like them playing a Nintendo console or something. Extendo console, right? I should probably go break that. Let's see if we can go break that. Oh, there's a lot of stuff in there. Okay. Extract plastic. <laughs> Extract. Just give it a smack. Oh god. Okay, I'm actually scared. We gotta go back.
Oh god, get back. Please! I'm sorry, this is way too important right now to not build. Ah. Oh. I can I feel like I can breathe. <laughs> I feel like I can breathe now. We have a hundred now for bra uh, breath time or breathe time or whatever, so thank god, man. Okay, let's make some refined metal. What else do I need for the thing they want me to make? I need more thick electrical tape. Well. So here's one thing I'm not a fan of. I really, really don't like that I can't queue something up and then leave. I get why you can't because you're making a thing. I just don't like that. I just wish I could queue it to make, you know what I mean? Okay, so actually some crap imposed by the developers. I'm guessing we're gonna need to use this on something. Create the crap imposed by the developers and put it in your hand. Simulation is complete. Having traced your brain's activity while you were working, your brain was stimulated with small electrical charges to improve your engineering skills. Judging by the result, it didn't work and caused a number of hallucinations. However, it was entertaining. You still can't get past the radiation, but I will mark the coordinates of the rescuers for useless motivation. Sweet. I'm gonna hit myself now. Oh, shit. Did the game just crash? You lie again. Oh. You are here. That means death was impossible. Tell truth. Confirm. All right. Well. I didn't know it would fucking kill me. I guess I should have assumed it would. But like. These loads are weird. Okay. Oh no. What the fuck? The autosave didn't save me. Oh my god. What the fuck? The autosave didn't save me before I fucking killed myself? Come on, man. You fucking bastards. What do I need? Refined metal. I need to buy. I. I need to rebuild this. Are you fucking serious? I thought this was supposed to save every time you come back into the ship. Fucking bullshit. Now I'm pissed. Like now I'm actually fucking tilted. Your joke just, like, wasted a good, like, ten minutes of shit for me. Like, thanks. Fuck. How far back did it put me? I don't have- I can't- I don't have the cutters here to do this. I don't have, uh... The oxygen thing 
This is about... I don't have the second one of these that I built. Because this is about to... Die, durability-wise. I wonder what the autosave trigger was. I'm getting this first, this time. This one, this is too important, I think. So I can stay out there longer. Alright. I can't trust the autosave. I'm gonna have to manually save every time, basically. I don't mind doing that. I just wish I had known. Because I would have auto, I would have saved before fucking doing that shit. That's just tilting, man. Okay, so we can build the shears. I don't have any plastic. I haven't seen aluminum yet. Like, at all. Okay. Let's go. Oh, no, I should build another one of these, because this thing's about to break. Is there a way you can repair them, actually? Because that would be... I'm guessing you maybe build, like, a repair station or something? Because being able to repair it would be way better. Oh. I can't actually afford it. Okay, whatever. We have more breathing, at least. All I have to do is break open one of these, and we'll we'll be fine. Those are kind of hard to break open. Did I seriously only get one metal from that, or did like the other metal shoot off? The other metal must have shot off somewhere. And I just didn't see. A model from the advertisement of the Global Funeral Agency. She looks good even without her head, but I wouldn't recommend touching the picture, as it could be regarded as sexual harassment. Yeah, that upgrade to my oxygen was, uh, was pretty, pretty mint, I would say. Pretty good. That's going to make harvesting stuff way easier. It's amazing how far 25 oxygen or whatever it is gets you, apparently. Pretty good. This is water, right? That's an ice ball. Uh, I think I'm gonna need to make more food stuff, so. I should consider harvesting, probably, some ice. But I kinda wanna just get back to where I was. Yeah, it feels already like I've been out here way longer. This is around when I would start running back. I'm assuming at some point you're gonna get even more. Upgrades to that sort of thing too. All right, now we gotta go back. Okay. I kind of want to just get that built. I need rubber, though. Okay. Um. So we'll build shears. Where do you think you would find a light bulb? In, like, a space world sort of thing. I wonder if you can actually just, like, break the lights, right? Like this. 
this light right here. No, you cannot. Well, it was worth a shot. Uh, shears. Have we tried having an idea? That's... <laughs> that's a really, like, cute, uh, little joke. Yeah, no, I get it. You didn't have to do the light bulb. Oh my god, I understood what you meant. That's a cute joke. That's fun. Have we tried having an idea? Is this something? That's asteroid. Probably wasting durability doing this, but... Oh, I'm definitely wasting durability doing this. Well. Did it not give me anything? Wow, man. I fucked up doing that. Okay. Well, we have the thing to build what we need. Any prediction for state of play? I would like a uh, an actual tra trailer for God of War Ragnarok because that's a system seller for me. So I would like that. I'm going to assume probably not going to be. That's probably not going to happen. I was thinking it'd be kind of uh, cool if they like announced Hades or something. Because Hades isn't on PlayStation, right? Like, that'd be really cool for people that have PlayStations, don't have Switches or anything like that. It's a great game. And it seems, like, small enough that they could just, like, throw it in there. Alright, install. Confirm. The electrical stimulation is complete. Having traced your brain's activity while you were working. Oh, it's a fucking dong. To improve your engineering skills. Judging by the result, it didn't work and caused a number of hallucinations. Wow. However, it was they actually made me kill myself with a dong. Coordinates of the rescuers for useless motivation. I'm even more mad now. <laughs> I'm even more fucking tilted. <laughs> It's not on Xbox either. Yeah. We could build a drill. I need a scrapper again. I'm going to build a drill because I have a feeling I'm going to need one. One more metal and I can build a scrapper. Another scrapper. Okay, now it autosaved because I see it. I see the autosave thing go off. I'm gonna have to pay really close attention to that shit, apparently. Is this metal? It is. Alright, let's go build a scrapper. I mean... I'm assuming we're gonna see more Horizon Forbidden West stuff, right? Probably. People are saying... Okay, actually I do know some... Well, I don't know. But there's been a lot of uh, industry talk about... Um, Sony has confirmed they're bringing a bunch of stuff to the PC. And people have speculated that this might be the chance we see Bloodborne on PC, finally, along with some other stuff. They're probably going to show Days Gone on PC, because that's been confirmed. But I think some of their presentation might actually be Sony stuff coming to PC. Uh, I don't know necessarily Bloodborne is one of them. I don't necessarily think that's one of them. It could be, but... A lot of various goods were transported in the cargo holds of the liner. What the, fuck? the Global Funeral Agency rented only a small part of the ship's space in the framework of the advertisement company and has nothing to do with these goods. 
I still want to... Oh, I should build a flashlight if I can, too, still. I think I still need a light bulb for something like that, though. Alright, let's try using one of these oxygen candles. Those oxygen candles actually give you a lot. Pretty good. The absence of movement to the nearby debris contradicts the basic laws of physics. Either someone forgot about the use of logic, or it's an anomaly formed in the radius of the destroyed core of the liner. No, Sony will never go fully PC, where they're releasing, like, Horizon or God of War on PC at the same time. They put too much money in their PlayStation and stuff like that, that there's no way they would ever just go full PC. But I I do know they have been, they're going to be, like, throwing actual things on in there. There should have been a joke about fat people here, but it didn't fit into the screen's text field. So, I don't know. We're probably going to see Days Gone, though, right? Like, as one of the, like, ten people that actually bought that game, and one of the, <laughs> I never actually played it. I have it on my uh, PlayStation right now, and I never actually played it. I think it's even installed, if you can believe it. I just threw my candle that I wanted to use away because I don't know how to use my controls at all, apparently. We're dead. We're dead. Oh, wait, what's this? What's this burger icon? Goodbye, cruel world. It's a shawarma. <laughs> Exactly. Mind your health. I mean, we're just gonna die here, but... Man, that is really far. Okay, we gotta build more stuff, obviously. Oh yeah, that's... Again, you are here. That means death was impossible. Tell truth. Confirm. So this autosave should be where oh, I said... <laughs> where I said, uh... That, oh, now it's auto-saving or whatever. So I don't think we missed anything. I don't think we missed anything. But yeah, State of Play is in like an hour, isn't it? I don't know. Do you guys get, <clears throat> do you guys get excited to see stuff that's coming up or? So I'm going to be <laughs> Mark smiling. Um, I'm going to be completely honest. The thing I like about it is that we have to talk about it on TDP. So I just like having that knowledge of what's coming to like talk about it on the thing. Otherwise, I would like never pay attention to it. Like how I don't watch movie trailers. People keep telling me that that new Mortal Kombat that's coming out soon, that trailer looks dope, but I know I'm going to watch it. So, like, why why bother watching a trailer for it? Like, I know I'm gonna watch that thing, you know? I want confirmation of Persona 3. That's been rumored for a long time too, huh? That's been rumored for a while. The trailer does look dope. Presentations can just be an email. Yeah, so... For about a year or so, in another life, I, like... Did like regurgitated news PR for a site called Game Guiders when I was much, much younger. And like, 
I think that's essentially why I kind of don't really care necessarily because I've seen how this shit's presented it's like you get in e you wake up you look at your emails you have all these PR bullshit things that you make an article on and it's like this is just the video version of that <laughs> you know like it's exciting to know what you can play eventually but until it's out it's like but th like I might die before this comes out like I don't know as this might not come out at all I was excited for vampire bloodlines or whatever too and that look what happened there <laughs> I'm gonna pop one of these because I want to keep looking around out here my mission if I can actually make it happen is to find a light bulb What the game future will look like? Sure. Yeah. I get more excited when I see game trailers, gameplay in trailers. A teaser to me is fucking useless. I can Photoshop a title and put it on a black screen. That's not impressive or anything to me. That's just bullshit. And I don't understand the hype train towards that sort of thing. That's the type of thing that, like, I think Twitter's here for, you know? Like, oh, you have a small announcement of a thing's happening? Yeah, you should just throw that on Twitter, probably. If you have gameplay, now you're speaking my language. Do you think Deus Ex will return? Do you think Deus Ex would do... Actually, you know what? After the debacle that Cyberpunk did, I think people would be clamoring for a good Deus Ex game. I think people would love a good Deus Ex game to scratch that itch that never got scratched that cyberpunk left honestly i think even if it wasn't like a great game if it was just good the comparison to cyberpunk would make it look better <laughs> so I should probably build another one of these. I have a lot of metal this time. Um, I'm still looking for that light bulb though. Okay, is there like more stations I could build? I could build another fucking cock and balls and kill myself with it, apparently. Uh, we haven't seen alkali in either for batteries. I. So I need two flashlights, actually. I need two flashlights because I need one for... Or two bulbs because I need one for my flashlight as well. Lead paint and glass. Roll of fabric. Lead paint. Haven't found aluminum yet. Metal and battery. I think I'm going to build a whole bunch of these because these are extremely good I'm gonna have to find some fabric I think I can go down to where that that uh kinky astronaut is and I think I can we can get fabric from down there so I think we're gonna try to harvest some fabric next down to the kinky astronaut I like trailers. I prefer title announcements studios are working on. Yeah. Oh yeah, I I don't really care about things that studios are working on until there's gameplay for me. 
Hmm. Maybe you cannot get fabric down here. Why did I think I could? Oh, wait. We got a light bulb. Holy shit. Um. All right. Back up we go. We have, con we have to connect through with the kinky astronauts. I think what you're referring to is called docking. Oh my god, I use all my batteries like an idiot! Well, we're going back out to find a battery. Durability 8. Um, that's just metal, right? Okay, so we need a battery and another light bulb if we can find it. But most importantly, a battery. Yeah, I got to get to Haven myself. Are you enjoying it? I do want to play Haven, but there's so many other things on my plate that I'm a little more excited for, so. Salty package. Hey, I got one of those. Oh, the rubber takes up a lot of space, actually. Yikes. So you can scan that. I feel like I did that already, but I guess I didn't, right? Oh, this is what I need. Scrapper. <gasps> battery, 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 battery. All right. Okay. After many dumb twists and turns, some by my fault, I'll admit, and some by the game, we'll share the blame here. I can finally make the thing that I don't remember that I wanted, the scanner, hell yeah. Okay. I'm going to put this on three and the scanner on four, I think. Get some blueprints, boy. Hell yeah. Also, there was... I'm trying to remember where it was. There was like a... Yeah, down here somewhere. Where I got the scanner blueprint, I think, right? There's something I could scan. Kitty, not now. God damn it. You're so disgusting. I know, like, people always find it cute, I think. I hate when animals lick you. I fucking hate it so much. Break door. Wait, can we use a drill here? Oh, yeah. We need a scrapper, huh? I think I'm gonna need another scrapper. Oh, 
We're gonna need another scrapper. I didn't realize it was just a scrapper to break that open. I thought I would need a drill or something. Kitty only wants one thing and it's disgusting. Exactly. That's exactly right. And now he's laying exactly where my mouse needs to be. I need fabric as well. First aid kit. I thought I had alcohol. I swear to God I had alcohol. I think it's in here. I have a lot of water. Yeah, alcohol right here. Get rid of some of this. I have a lot of stuff taking up a lot of room that we need. So health plus 50. I don't think I... That doesn't sound like a video I've seen, now. Okay, we're back to full health. Hunger plus 60. Let's, um... Let's fill up on those. Okay. Things are going better. Which is a scary thing to say, because... That's usually what people say before it goes real bad, but, you know, I'm confident we got this. I'm gonna go smack that metal door until it breaks open. Stake here. This is working autonomous oxygen station. It can be used for long. You must carefully remove the station by removing two. You must carefully remove the station by removing two. <laughs> anyway, this doesn't matter anymore. At least now you have an understanding of how to assemble one. You have a set of its parts and a light taste of despair. We can breathe in here too. Okay. Okay, so that was only, this whole area was only to uh, get that recipe. Okay, fair enough. Might as well get some rubber while we're down here, I guess. Be cool if we could break this open even more. To get the delicious, delicious insides. But no such luck, I suppose. Okay, there's more going on with this over here than it's letting on. You know? Like, why is this marked? Like, it looks like I should be able to do something here, but I can't. Because after I got that, hold on, use one of these, where's my, can I scan him? Oh, there's a light bulb, so we can make the flashlight. I wonder if it'll go away as soon as I make the flashlight. Because it seems like 
that was just kind of a location to get some important materials because that's where I got my shears to make my um, my cutters here or the scissors to make my shears that's where I got two light bulbs I think that's maybe where I even got like a flashlight recipe definitely a reason why they made it like bright pink in space Pretty important. Is it? So everything has durability, huh? We got the oxygen station, thick electrical tape. We need to find aluminum. We need to find aluminium. I am kind of wondering, even if I found it, would I be able to harvest it? You know what? Actually, I remember now. That's probably what the drill's for. I remember seeing... There's rocks with, um... It looks like a metal in them. Okay. I don't remember where the hell I saw them, but let's go look around for them. Like, right down there, here, I think. Like, you see how there's, like, ores or something embedded in this rock? I'm guessing this is where the drill comes in. Holy shit. Also, we just grab it, apparently? Oh, I'm all for this. Yeah, send me mining in space, man. This is like the easiest thing I've had to find so far. <laughs> My drill is breaking down, though. My drill is slowly breaking down. Lead paint, glass. I still don't have fabric. So these are super important. The helmet and the... Uh, we need this radiation protection a lot. But like... I don't know, man. Let's build the oxygen station. What does this do? Producing oxygen based on hydrolysis. It heats up so much after starting it's better to not touch or disassemble it. The station would have stunk of hydrogen and something else vaguely familiar if not for the vacuum in your spacesuit. Holy shit, that is huge. If this station doesn't explode, your engineering skills will be reconsidered. I recommend that you investigate the immediate vicinity in search of radiation protective equipment for flying to the evacuation zone. This thing's way too fucking big. Can you just, like, put it anywhere? Yes. Okay. I see. So, we have a the means to kind of set up a base somewhere else. Okay. This game is starting to make more sense on how the how you're supposed to go about things. Um, the durability is going to screw me, I think, though. I almost feel like I should build more tool more tools now before going out there, but I'm also kind of wanting to just go. What do I have? We have alcohol. Okay, let's do this.
I think I should look around here more and uh, harvest stuff before going out there. I definitely think that's a thing that I should be doing. So, can we put this away? We're going to put that away for now. Um... Take more of this stuff. All right, let's look around some more. I know that you can scan this TV. I wanted to scan this TV over here. Because that seems super important. All right, so we got a blueprint for the big TV. What else do we got over here? That seems like it's probably important. Or it might have something important. God, the durability is going down pretty quick. That is... I have so much water. Gonna need more metal. I found that if you hold down alt, you kind of like control better. Like you get you're like almost always in like an auto run, let's call it, when you're in space and you have this floatiness to you. Obviously, because you're in space. Um but when you hold alt, it kind of like stops you. Like you're putting on the brakes essentially. So it's definitely the way to go for farming for sure I didn't even see that over there let's pop another one of these and go take a look I know I only have durability one but there might be something interesting over here well there's a dead body so that's a it good looks start like a mail delivery shuttle surely he was carrying a lot of useless things most of which were stolen before loading I wonder if that's more aluminum, or if that's a different material. kind of want to go check. Um, that's our last one. This is definitely a different material. It's alkali. Oh, shit. Okay. I wonder if I'll even be able to get any with this low durability. Grabber required. Oh. Wait. Can I just use the back scratcher as a grabber? I can. Okay. And the back scratcher is now dead. Awesome. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did I grab that? Where the hell did it go? Bummer. Don't know. Don't know where it went. If you can explode your body, flesh can be noticed by rescuers and you become my hero. Okay. We have alkali now. What did alkali... What did you use it for again? So, oxygen generator. I can build oxygen candles. I should probably consider it. Oh, I needed it for something. For batteries. Metal and alkali for batteries. I guess that makes sense. 
a roll of fabric, lead paint. Do I even know how to make lead paint? What do we have in here? Equipment. So we definitely need this stuff. Lead paint. Mixture of ship paint and lead solution, outdated way to protect yourself from radiation. Can't be found, obtained only by crafting. Don't know how to make it yet though. Lead. Industrial paint tanks, station debris. Where do you get rolls of fabric? Probably just by rolling up fat. Pillows. I totally have fabric somewhere. Did I accidentally store it away? Or do I just not have enough of it? I just don't have enough of it. Okay. This music is so good. It's really nice, actually. that I wasn't able to pick up that other tape. Man, Babe is sending me way too many messages. Like, chill, you know? So, the rescue shuttle Hope has been sent for you. Yeah, we read that. That's okay. A great example of contemporary art. It requires recharging of oxygen generators. The station can be installed on some debris instead. Damage stations, which will give endless oxygen. Okay. We should set up a oxygen restore point with that thing. I think. Kinotron. All right, I think it's time we go out on a mission, boys. I think we go out on a mission. You need a lot of space to take that thing. Um, let's do this. Not enough space still. That's a chonky boy. Okay, so what is that? Four by four, so I need 16 total. I still need five slots. And 12, 14, I need one more. Holy crap. All right, let's uh, let's set up a oxygen recharge station. Do I have candles? I don't. All right, so we're gonna go until I start running out of oxygen, I guess. I'm not moving? There we go. Okay, there's a weird glitch that if you're like moving, when you open up your menu and then you leave your menu, you just aren't moving and you can't move. For a second. I think I'm gonna set it up in here. In this broken debris over here. Cause that looks like frozen stuff over there. Which seems no good. This is just better Tarkov.
All right, let's try setting it up, shall we? How do you charge it? Oh, you need a generator. I see. Looks like an underage child's cabin. I hope we won't find any dead children here, otherwise we will never escape the attacks of human rights activists. Yeah, true. Definitely do want to check that out more. Right now I'm kind of just at the mercy of um, whatever I can find to keep going. No, I don't think this is going to work. Can I make it back and recharge to go back? Because the radiation is going up a little too much for my liking as well. We still got to do a bunch of farming and stuff. Just a little bit more anyways. Um, there's still some in here, right? Oh yeah, there's still a lot in here. Also, I kind of want to see how the dismantle process works here. You need a tool to dismantle this. I don't know what tool they want. You need a specific tool to do it. Okay, well, you know what? At least we have a, uh... We have kind of a halfway point thing, so that's fine. There should have been a joke about fat people here, but it didn't fit into the screen's text field. Accelerator. From shawarma? Oh, it's a fart joke, isn't it? Hi. What's up? Why are you home? Why? Okay. I think it's a fart joke. Also, I think we're gonna make it. Oh yeah, more than enough time. Alright, what does this accelerator need? A complex device for outputting accumulated gases to accelerate the body and weightlessness. Ineffective when used on a healthy stomach. Gross. Yellowish water. Ugh. Refined metal. Okay, refined metal we can do, like, right away. That's easy. Now, where the hell do you think yellowish water would come from? The urine composition allows hydrolysis. Okay, urine. Can't be found. Available craft. So, we doing this? I don't understand. Oh, do we have to close the door, maybe? Like, there's got to be a way to actually... Listen, my character's been drinking a lot of water, okay? There's gotta be a way to expend. Okay. 
Oh, there's a. I can make a grabber now. I should do that. And this. And how are we looking for the shears? So there's a generator. The generator is actually not that expensive either. Hmm. Is there a waste container you- wait, there's a pillow here. There's fabric. Now, we can do this. Times four? Oh, never mind. Is there like a decent way? Where the hell did it go? There it is. I wish you could like take it apart. Put this here as a reminder. There. Now w there is. We'll always be reminded. <sighs> Alright. I'm gonna save. We're gonna call that there. Uh, cause I'm gonna take a small break and then we'll get ready for the state of play.